Meghan Markle and Prince Harry traveled to Morocco in 2019, where the Duchess of Sussex reportedly spent more than £110,000 on designer clothes. During the royal tour, Meghan, who was then pregnant with Prince Archie, looked absolutely fabulous in chic casual outfits such as the skinny jeans and bread and striped top she wore for a daytime engagement. In the evening, Meghan stunned in a sophisticated red Valentino dress and a beautiful long blue gown but according to some fans, her caftan, style the or dress was her best outfit of the tour. To attend a glamorous reception hosted by the British ambassador in Rabat, Meghan donned a stunning gold and or dress which was reportedly worth £90,000. She paired the look with diamond earrings, a gold clutch bag and matching £590 Dior shoes, with the whole outfit costing a staggering £99,000. The floor, length gown was gem, embellished and had voluminous sleeves, and Meghan looked gorgeous in it, but she has never worn it since. Back then, Royal fans took to social media to praise her style with Instagram user at Corbettle saying Meghan looked unbelievably gorgeous. Royal and fashion expert Miranda Holder commented on the iconic look and opined that the Duchess always goes for a minimalist style by choosing clean outfits that accentuate the quality of the clothes and avoiding extravagant accessories. In Morocco, for instance, she opted for a monochrome soft gold outfit, which according to Miranda, is also a fashion hack to look more expensive. She commented, Meghan keeps her style understated and clean, letting her beauty and elegance do the talking. She favors unfussy accessories and focuses on quality over quantity, which looks expensive. She also carefully selects wardrobe hero pieces which flatter her perfectly. Having a wardrobe full of neutrals also takes a lot of guesswork out of dressing. The focus becomes more about the fabric and silhouette ensuring a chic, expensive look. During her time as a working royal, Meghan would opt for neutral colors most of the time in order to blend in and avoid upstaging other members of the royal family. She explained, Most of the time that I was in the UK, I rarely wore color. There was thought in that. To my understanding you can't ever wear the same color as Her Majesty if there is a group event. But then you also should never be wearing the same color as one of the other more senior members of the family. I was like, well, what's a color that they'll probably never wear? Camel. Beige. White. So I wore a lot of muted tones. It also was so I could just blend in. Like, I'm not trying to stand out here.